What's up gamers, The Red Dragon here, and we are checking out some Battlefield 3 gameplay. This is Armored Kill Death Valley Conquest. So this was actually a pretty good game for me that you'll get to witness. And uh, during the course of this, this was the first time that I had flown a chopper in quite a while. So I was very rusty. At one point, uh, I think a light pole almost takes me out, but I come back from the jaws of death. And so anyway, I hopefully... Hopefully you enjoy this gameplay, but while you are watching this, we're going to actually be discussing some things going on in the news, primarily with the election. So, I don't know if you live in North America, but even if you don't, I'll try to make this appeal to people of all countries uh, that watch, uh, watch my channel. But anyway, over here in North America, we've got an election coming up in November. So you turn on the news, that's pretty much all you see. You're bombarded with this information. And it's not just people who turn on the TV. Now, whenever we, at least in North America, turn on our Xboxes, uh, the first thing I normally see are advertisements from the two candidates. And Microsoft just uh, launched Election Hub 2012. So there's actually a part of the Xbox dashboard that we can go to. We can get polling data. We can get the views on the different candidates and information. They're also going to have town hall meetings later on this year. I think they've got one scheduled for August the 29th and also September the 5th. So it's supposed to be streamed live on Xbox. Now, a lot of people don't like this. They don't like the word politics. They don't like talking about it, especially when it comes to gaming. People say, leave politics out of gaming. I don't know how many times I've heard about that. And you know, whenever you're younger, you always hear, there's two things you don't talk about. You don't talk about religion, and you don't talk about politics. And so, uh, most people kind of abide by those rules. But... As, as we're trying to game, it's being shoved down our throats, whether we like it or not. So, I don't think people honestly realize just how politically, uh, I guess, centered a lot of the games that we play actually are. You look at a game like Battlefield 3, the storyline, uh, a lot of the maps revolve around Iran. And if you watch anything about the news, if you know anything about world events that's going on right now... Iran is constantly in the news, and there's a lot of talk, a lot of discussion. A lot of people are worried that we're going to be in a conflict with them before it's all over. I'm afraid we're going to be in a conflict with them before it's all over, and I don't want that. I, I don't want to be involved in any more wars. We've had definitely enough, but I'll, I'll leave that for another topic or video. But look at all the different games that we play. Battlefield 3, Medal of Honor, Call of Duty... All those are war games that have storylines that are derived from events that have happened in real world or are or possibility. They have a possibility of happening in the real world. Uh, even games like Bioshock or Fallout, like those games like that, those have politically driven storylines. And so it's things that could possibly happen or are happening. And so politics is everywhere. Whether you realize it or not, whether you don't want to talk about it or you do want to talk about it, it's in your face every day. Even when you're not gaming. The reason why you do the things you do, why you have to pay the fees you pay, why you have to act the way you do, the laws you have to abide, they all revolve around things or decisions based in politics. So Microsoft is launching this election hub and uh, they actually say that 40% of all Xbox Live members are swingers. Or I guess I should say swing voters. They actually can go both ways. So one election they might um, vote for one candidate of a certain party and another election they might go in a totally different direction. So 40% of Xbox Live users our swing voters, so that's why you are being targeted because a lot of Xbox Live members apparently do vote, and the youth vote is uh, starting to become more and more, uh, I guess, instrumental in the elections. Of course, it was a huge instrumental part of the 2008 elections, and uh, Obama actually has advertise advertisements in video games. There's uh, a few stories out now. Uh, where he's purchased uh, several ad spots in games like Madden. Uh, EA, I know, has a uh, an ability to put like billboards and certain things in games where people can buy advertisements. So whether you're in-game or on the dashboard, you are seeing politics. 
So what I would like to know is, what do you think about this? What's your opinion on it? Does it does it upset you? Does it make you mad? Do you care what's going on? Or, um, you know, is it something that should, you know, be off limits? Well, whether you think it should be or not, it's not going to be off limits. And like I said, do you, do you actually consider when you're playing the game how politically motivated the storylines are that you're playing? Do you realize that, or is that just something that you just take and, and consider it as, you know, I guess fiction or, or something else? Uh, let me know. I would, I would be curious to know what your opinions are on this. Now, me, personally, I watch a lot of news. Of course, I do a lot of news on this show. Uh, that's, that's what this video is about. This is about giving you the news, a story that I posted on the front page of VGN about Xbox Live and elections. But I don't just keep up with, um, I guess, gaming news. I actually keep up with a lot of, a lot of world news. And so whenever I'm browsing YouTube or, or, you know, whatever, sometimes I'll watch a video that's politically driven, not focused around gaming whatsoever, and I may comment on it. Or I might like a video. And so... I, I didn't really consider it until the other day, but you know whenever a YouTuber likes that or you're subscribed to me and you have it set to where you can see my, um, I, I guess what I'm doing on your news feed, you might actually see that. So, this video I'm going to wrap up a couple of things all into one. I actually got a message the other day from one of the users and it was about this in a sense. So this message comes from NG Gillen. We'll do a Dear Dragon here. And he says, Dear Dragon, do you ever feel that some of your YouTube activity outside of your own videos might alienate some of your subscribers? I'll notice often by chance that you are very liberal politically, not by stalking, just by uh, the subscriber news feed. And wanted to ask whether you think this might deter people who would normally like your videos but who have polarizing opinions politically. And uh, he says, he goes on to say, should the Red Dragon be associated simply with gaming or viewed as a broader person? Uh, he also says that he knows of YouTubers who have separate accounts, one for uploading their videos and another one for their own personal activity in order to keep from, you know, trying to turn off uh, other viewers or subscribers. So the first thing that I would like to, to mention, and I actually wrote NG Gillen a little message here as well, uh, because I was surprised that he actually assumed that I was liberal. Uh, and, you know, in the end, I don't even like to use terms like that, conservative, liberal. Um, a lot of times that gets off the focus of the topics that are debatable. And so whenever I discuss politics or whatever, I like to focus strictly on the subject at hand. And I like to take it one topic at a time. We'll discuss it. Whoever has the best idea, you know, I think that's the one that we should go with. But I, I'm not for parties. And somebody mentioned the other day or asked me, you know, if I was associated with either the Republicans or Democrats. And personally, I, I think they're both pretty awful. Uh, and both have occasionally good ideas and both occasionally have a lot of bad ideas. So I'm, I'm very independent minded. And I was actually surprised that uh, I would be con considered liberal because I actually consider myself, I guess, conservative when it comes to fiscal issues. And I guess I'm more socially liberal when it comes to things like marijuana. Like, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think as long as you're not bothering anybody, you should be able to put whatever you want to inside your own body it's your body <laughs> like why should there be a, a law against me placing things inside my body as long as i'm not hurting you as long as i'm not putting inside your body you want me to take a pill but you won't let me take this plant that's never killed one person ever i don't understand that so i guess i i could be considered liberal in that sense but to get to the question as to whether or not uh i i could possibly turn off people because of my activity on YouTube, I would hope not. I would hope people that come to me on YouTube, who subscribe to me, who like my content and everything, I hope, I hope that they enjoy the content that I put out there and that's why they, you know, follow or whatever or stay on board with me and not because of, you know, my beliefs on certain issues. 
I'm not against anybody's ideas, really. Uh, if you have an opinion or idea, I, I totally respect that. I may not agree with it, but, you know, that's just like a lot of the, the people, a lot of my friends, actually. We'll take music, for instance, a, a non-controversial subject. Some people, actually a lot of people on Battle Strats, enjoy, uh, I guess, this heavy metal music. It's like nothing but yelling. I was in... I was in the, the mall the other day, and I was in the store Hot Topics, and they were playing this song, and it was nothing but screaming and hollering, and, like, that's just not my style of music. Like, I don't like that whatsoever. For me, it gives me a headache. It makes me feel tense. But some people, that makes them feel relaxed, or that gets their energy or blood flowing, whatever it is. For me, my personal taste in music is more like uh, 70s and uh classic rock and sometimes folk music or I, I have a wide array of music tastes and songs that I like and, and things and so but you know the one thing that I don't like is usually heavy metal but because I have friends who like that sort of music I would never say I'm going to stop being your friend or I'm going to stop following you because you like this sort of music like to me that doesn't make any sense whatsoever I think debate is one of the most important things we can possibly have in life. And uh, America, we screw up a lot, I think. Uh, I, I don't like our foreign pos policy. I, I think we have a lot of problems and issues. But the one thing that I do love about this country is that you have the freedom of speech, or at least you should. Uh, that even that's coming in, uh, under attack in, uh, in many places. But freedom of speech, being able to debate ideas and, and bring up things, be able to, to say, hey, I don't agree with this or I agree with this, that's one of the greatest rights we possibly have. I think it's, it's a right that all humans should have. Yeah, freedom, I think, is, is the ultimate goal. And I don't think you'll ever be free. Freedom is just an idea. Like, there's always got to be some type of order or some type of system in place. But... You know, being able to debate things, being able to bring up ideas without the, um, I, I guess, being scared of what's going to come about from that, I, I don't like that at all. So hopefully people aren't turned off by what I do on the side if I'm liking a certain video or if I make a comment. Uh, if you want to talk about it or why I feel a certain way, I would definitely love to do that. Um, but I, I would hope that most of my viewers, and I think most of them do, they they subscribe to me and they like me for my content that I put out there, for the tutorials that I do, for the unique conversations that we have on this channel. Because you did mention in your question, should the Red Dragon be associated with gaming or viewed as a broader person? And I, I'm hoping that I can appeal to broader lines than just video games because I do a lot of conversations and a lot of different topics on all sorts of things we've talked about uh you know aging and, and gaming we've talked about negativity introverts extroverts so i do a lot of different subjects that i don't think a lot of youtubers are doing especially in the gaming community and i i hope that i am i want to bring something original to the table so i'm i'm not just a one trick pony i don't want to be anyway so um you know, these sorts of things, they appeal to me, and I think they matter. And whenever you hear that phrase, you should never talk about religion or politics or whatever. Like, politics, like I said, it affects everything. And I think one thing or one reason why things are so screwed up like they are is because too many people turned their back and they, they weren't involved or didn't care about it. And I'm, if you don't care, that's fine. That's completely fine. I was in that place for a long time, but now all of a sudden I've, I've kind of woke up and I, I pay attention to the news a lot and I see what's going on and uh, you know like I said I'm not here to to stand up for one one party I'm here to stand up for ideas so if you enjoyed this commentary please give me a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already I would enjoy having you as a viewer and uh, we'll continue conversations like this post below let me know what you think about election 2012 the hub on Xbox Live. Like it or not. I want to know what you think. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I appreciate you watching.